assalamu alaikum grade 6 today is our first lecture and it's about the computer system so computers are available in different sizes and types in this lecture we will discuss the classification of computer on the basis of their sizes so classification of computers on the basis of classification we can classify computers into five groups number one mobile computers number two mainframes number three microcomputers number four mini computers number five supercomputers so number one mobile computers mobile computers are the smaller computers designed to be carried around by the users examples are laptops or ultrabooks netbooks tablets ebook reader smartphones personal data assistants known as pda and portable media player pmps are all mobile computers now here we will cover up some examples laptops or ultrabooks Laptops are portable versions of desktop PCs that we use at our homes. PCs mean personal computers. Whereas netbooks are smaller than laptops and usually do not have DVD drives. Both laptops and netbooks are capable of running the same software. However, netbooks primarily focus on the internet access. Now an ultrabook. An ultrabook is another category of laptop that is slimmer and lighter but built to offer the same performance as the laptop. Nowadays uh, you might have seen the laptops are coming so sleek and slim in design as compared to the previous one. These are some example where you can see on the left side we have a netbook that is uh, usually portable and smaller in size whereas ultrabook is slim and sleek in design. Now tablets. Tablets usually comes without a keyboard and a mouse and are operated via touch screen for example samsung tablet or apple tablet or any dany or export tablets now ebook reader they are used to store and read books newspapers and magazines examples are kindle kindle is an example of ebook reader in the next slide i'll show you kindle and as well as tablet now here on the left side you can see a ebook reader known as Kindle. It is famous for reading magazines, newspaper or any kind of stories. And on the right side we have a tablets. So basically both are used for the same purposes but Kindle uh, generally focus on reading. Now we have smartphones. Smartphones are phones with wireless internet connectivity. Number one is PDA personal digital assistant is also known as a palm top computer that you can hold it in your hands these handheld device can function as a cell phone fax sender personal organizer and have the ability to connect to the internet now pmp known as a portable media player a portable media player is an electronic device that stores and play audio images or videos etc here in the next slide we will see some examples of PMP, PDA and palm tops. These are some examples of PDAs. Portable media player through which you can watch movies, watch cartoons, listen to music, scroll through your images and for the same purpose palm top and PDA cell phones are used. Now microcomputers. A microcomputer is a small computer that is used by one user at a time the desktop computer that you see in most of the offices schools colleges and homes are microcomputers desktop computers are also called personal computers or pcs then mini computers mini computers are larger than microcomputers typically being the same size as a refrigerator mini computers first appeared in the 1960s in the 1980s they got replaced by microcomputers which have become smaller and more powerful with the time examples are CDC 160A and HP 2100 are some examples of mini computer in the next slide you will see CDC 160A and HP 2100 in this slide we have the examples of mini computers on the left side you see is a cdc 160a while on the right side you see is a hp 2100 now mainframe mainframes are big powerful and expensive multi-user computer 
They are mainly used for bulk data processing in large organizations like government offices, airlines and bank etc. If there is a lot of data that need to be processed, the only system that is compatible with it is the mainframe computers. Examples are IBM 4381, DEC 10 and NEC 610. Now I'll show some examples of NEC 610, DEC 10 and IBM 4381. So these are examples of mainframe computers. NEC 610, IBM 4381 and DEC 10. Now supercomputers. Supercomputers are the biggest and most powerful computers. They often occupy whole room. They can process trillions of instructions per second. Government organization and large industries use them for work that requires a lot of numeric calculations, such as weather forecasting. Examples of supercomputers are IBM's and CQ computers. A computer consists of two main component, hardware and a software, but we'll discuss the hardware component and software component in the coming lecture. First, let me show you the examples of supercomputers. So these are examples of supercomputers as you can see in the image. They have occupied the whole place. So basically supercomputers need a lot of area to install them. So this was all about today's lecture. Inshallah I'll be covering up with hardware and software components in the coming lecture. Thank you.